So in mysticism, God exists in all these moments, light and dark, no good, bad, right or wrong. There's just experience and the opportunity for transformation. What this means then is that every being who has crossed your path, who has brought you down onto your knees, they have been your angels. They have been your teachers, your spiritual companions, and that you guys came together to do very important work to illuminate both of your souls. God loves that being as much as God loves you. And that person is burning through their karma in the same way you're burning through yours. And so if you fail to recognize it, doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. But if it's 40 years and you're still blaming that being, then what you can keep saying to the universe is, I am a victim. And spirit will say, really? Because I thought you were a child of God. So I guess that limited belief is what's keeping you from understanding that. So we're going to keep bringing that experience into your life until you get that there is no such thing. You cannot be victimized unless you believe it's true. You can't be abandoned unless you believe it's true. This is the sense of otherness that is perpetuating what's happening out there. So you go back into your relationships and you look at the value. Where is God? Where is love? Where is truth? Where is grace? And if you can transform that and heal it, if you can learn to love your journey for, for what it is, how it has been, that will create the possibility for empathy, not sympathy. If I sympathize with you, I've now put myself above your experience. If I pity you, same thing, hierarchy. But if I empathize, the playing field is level and I get it. I get you're exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, learning your lessons in God's time, not in my time. And I might not love the way that your journey is unfolding, but I do need to respect it and pray for you and for your happiness and for all players involved. That is the shift that needs to happen. And this is what spiritual activism is all about. It's looking at the world in a different way. It's choosing not to get focused on the personality, but it's choosing instead to go into the soul of a human being and be bearing witness.